Hey guys, what is up today? This is Channel Dan, and today we're going to play some more Clash Royale. As you can see, I'm still in Legendary Arena, but today we are going to talk about a specific card from the Builder's Workshop. It's not the Miner, it's not Sparky, but it is, of course, the Log. A split bottle of, a, sorry, a spilt bottle of Rage turned into, it turned an innocent tree trunk into the log. Now it seeks revenge by crushing anything in its path. It targets ground. It has a wide width of 3.9 tiles. It does 2240 damage, um, 9.6 to the crown tower and something else like that. But anyways, it also pushes back troops. So that is something that is very special about it. Like the bowler or even the fireball. They have knockback. So the log specifies in that it is good with it and it can take out troops such as goblins, spear goblins, and it can even push back barbarians, archers, you know, troops like that. But it can push back those tanky troops such as the P.E.K.K.A., um, the giant, I believe, and uh, the giant skeleton, yeah. Things like fireball or the bowler can't, no, the bowler, sorry, the P.E.K.K.A., sorry, the bowler can't push them back. The bowler can push them back, but the fireball cannot. The fireball has knocked back, but the bowler has knocked back to everything. I think. So, um, watch my video, watch my previous video for more information on that. But as you can see, he uses the log, and he actually does it pretty successfully as it takes out my Valkyrie, and it allows his, his whatchamacallit walking towards me to, to, um, survive, and it takes out the Valkyrie and good thing my archers can take it out quickly unfortunately my archers die but I have like a thousand health um, advantage over him so he's gonna drop his witch off because if you see a witch expect a giant or a royal giant okay just expect it just expect it also if you see a giant placed in the back or a royal giant placed in the back expect a witch or a sparky something like that or a musketeer or wizard, something like that. Or th even three musketeers. You always got to be ready. I defend the three musketeers by having a fireball or using the Valkyrie or using the Zap. You know, mini P.E.K.K.A. cards like that can just deal with them pretty quickly. As you can see here, my goblins are working away on that musketeer, but unfortunately it gets one hit off on that tower and my goblin hut goes down. He drops a mini P.E.K.K.A. in the back, and what's he gonna do? I am going to drop that Goblin Hut there again, but his archer just takes down and chips damage onto the hut. I drop my Valkyrie, because you don't want your mini P.E.K.K.A. to get... You don't want their mini P.E.K.K.A., sorry, to get close to your tower. That is dangerous. That is not okay. As you can see, he effectively uses his guards and his Lumberjack for worth. It destroyed probably 5 plus troops. I'm going to use my archers, I gotta get my Valkyrie up in there, destroy those skeletons, destroy that witch, and then my mini P.E.K.K.A. just destroying that RG, which I commonly see nowadays. I get, I get my Hog Rider up in there as well, and he drops a uh, log, it pushes back everything, which was pretty effective, but my Hog Rider still gets in there, and my Hog Rider and my Valkyrie go in for that final swing, the tower's down. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. No way he can get back, and that's a GG. So, that's the use of a log. Um, I've seen it in hog log combos. They're pretty effective. Good at clearing troops tro um, in the way for um, heavy hitters, like mini peccas, princes, hogs, stuff like that. Thanks for watching. This has been Channel Dan. I'll see you in the next one.